beekeepers. I'm really excited about this video because it makes a huge improvement on my old recipe of the vodka and the mineral oil and the coverage is so much better. Anyway, this got two of my favorite words, inexpensive and easy, in this recipe. All you do is you heat up three quarters of a cup of min, um, distilled water and then you that's at 170 degrees. Then you add four tablespoons of oxalic acid. Now when you start to mix it up, it's kind of grayish color, but it quickly turns clear because it uh, dissolves into the fluid or into the distilled water. And as soon as it is all dissolved, you take a quarter cup of vegetable glycerin. You can get mm -hmm. it anywhere. Pour that in and mix that up. It quickly mixes and you are done. You just made enough to treat about six to eight hives right there. That quick. Nice and clear. No crystals whatsoever. Now one thing I should su suggest is the fact that mix it up, let it cool, and then use it. Because if you let it set the oxalic acid will start to crystallize quickly in the water. You can still use it. You can shake it up, reheat it. It'll still work. It's just that this is a lot easier to do and you don't have to do it twice. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how well this works. I've got a hive set up over there. And I have to use a slide-in bottom board underneath because I use screened bottom boards on all my hives. But you definitely want to wear a respirator. Don't even chance it. If you get a whiff of oxalic acid, you'll feel like you're coughing up a lung. But you can see how well it fogs everything inside and the mist just keeps lingering. It coats every square inch of the comb and the bees so you know it's affecting the varroa. The first time I did this I had a huge mite drop. I stuck all the mites under the microscope and there's nothing more satisfying than seeing the little varroa on their back and their little legs twitching in the microscope. I love that. Anyway, that's the formula. Now. I have to admit that when I first did mine, <clears throat> I did not check the temperature of the fog when it came out. So after the fact, and when I did mine, I took two hives, and I mean I fogged them heavy, heavier than what you just saw. And then I went back into it 24 hours later, and I, you know, inspected the bees, see if there's any dead bees on the bottom, on the entrance, and nothing. They're very active and they didn't even seem like it bothered them one bit. So just for my own curiosity, I made it put a little ring on the end of this board to fit the nozzle of the fogger in and then drilled it at two, four, six inches so I can put my temperature probe in. And what I found out is that at two inches you're at uh, about the low about 130 and the high at 190. Now 190 is where you're just pumping it. So literally you're spitting out heated fluid. At four inches, it's 120 at the low, 150 at the high, and at six inches it's 110 and 150. Um, when I did mine, like I said, I didn't check the temperature, so I just stuck the nozzle in there and I just, you know, loaded it up. But it had no effect on them. So, you know, that's just a gauge in what really worked in the hive seems not to affect them whatsoever. Now, if you need parts for your Burgess fogger, you know, I love the fogger. It's effective, especially with this new formula. It's, uh, 
probably either on par or even maybe a little bit better than just vaporizing oxalic acid because that glycerin is make, mixing with the oxalic acid and it's sticking to everything inside where the, you know, when you vaporize it, it turns into a gas and that goes in up in the hive and literally turns into just a powder. So anyway, if you need parts for your Burgess Fogger, um, which, you know, they're 50, 60 bucks, you can contact the fountainheadgroup.com and the part number for the rebuild kit is 161436. They're $5 a kit and the comes in the mail. You know, I usually get three or four at a time just to have them on hand. So, anyway, this is the new formula. This is what I'm going to use from now on. Three quarters cup distilled water, four tablespoons oxalic acid, heat it to 170, then add in the, after it's dissolved, add in the quarter cup of glycerin. Now, everybody always asks me, you know, how do you fog your hives? This is what I do. I have to slide in that bottom board underneath the screen board so all the fumes come up. Open up the two hives in between, open up and slide back the uh, telescoping top, prop open the screen top cover. I'll put three, four in the bottom, two, three in here, and two, three up here. And when you close it all back up, you'll see the fumes just rolling out so you know it's being well fumed. So, other than that, that's pretty much all I have on this video. Now, if you like the videos that I submit for all you beekeepers out there, hit the thumbs up, like button, and don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. It's not painful whatsoever. Anyway, thanks for watching, and good luck with your bees.